calf rearing phase is the most resource intensive within dairy beef production systems. Therefore, it is essential that we select calves with a high genetic potential for beef production, that offer high weight for age at time of purchase, and that are healthy, coming from herds that are implementing an optimum vaccination and colostrum management protocol. When calves are purchased in on farm, they should receive electrolyte for their first feed. And 24 hours after arrival, and when they're settled into their new surroundings, calves should receive their initial vaccination to boost their immunity against bovine respiratory disease. The objective of the calf rearing phase is to maintain a healthy calf while striking a balance between animal performance as well as production costs. And over the calf rearing phase, every calf should be achieving 0.7 of a kilo per day over the, the artificial rearing period. Typically in dairy beef systems, calves are purchased on farm at three weeks of age. And at this time point, they should weigh between 50 and 55 kilos. Calves artificially reared in addition to their milk diet should be offered ad-lib concentrates as well as a high quality roughage source in many cases that is straw as well as fresh water on a daily basis. The intake of solid feed in a calves diet is necessary to support a successful transition phase and the transition phase represents the period when a calf moves from pre-ruminant to ruminant uh, with the rumen taking over the main responsibility of feed digestion and the level of concentrate that the calf consumes will largely dictate the success of this, this period. The milk feeding strategy employed will largely dictate the level of concentrate intake. In Chagas Grange on the dairy beef research herd, calves are offered a relatively low volume of milk from three to four weeks of age with the level fed being four litres. And this low volume has helped promote high concentrate intake throughout the calf rearing phase with calves achieving in excess of one kilo per day and gaining 0.75 of a kilo live weight per day. A successful transmission phase minimizes stress caused during the weaning process and will allow calves to fully benefit from graze grass throughout the first grazing season. Calves should be weaned when they meet a range of selection criteria. And one, calves should be greater than 10 weeks of age, weighing greater than 85 to 90 kilos live weight, and they should be consuming in excess of one kilo of concentrate for more than three consecutive days. In terms of purchasing calves, when we look across the Green Acres farms, purchase prices have increased in 2021. Last year, the Holstein Frisian calves cost in and around 64 euros a head on average but this year they have increased by around 11 euros to 75 euros per head, which still represents relatively good value in terms of calf price. Early maturing breeds such as Angus and Hereford are up in the region of 50 euros, up to around 180. This is an increase up from around 130 euros last year. When we look at what, what farmers are going to buy, I suppose there has to be a kind of a cross off between value and quality. While quality is always important, it does come at a price. We do see some extreme prices have been paid for continental calves this year and in reality when it comes to slaughtering these calves at two years of age it's hard to see where the margin might be made. The cost of production typically across the, a dairy calf to beef system would equate to around a thousand euros between fixed and variable costs for a two year old steer production system. If we look at what beef prices came to this spring typically we were talking that cattle slaughtered between February and March came to an average beef price of around 370 a kilo. This would equate to, at a 325 kilo carcass, of a beef value on the animal between 1150 to 1200 euros. Taking off the cost, the cost of buying the calf at around 50 euros and taking off the cost of production of around 1000 euros, this would equate to a net margin per head of around 100 to 150 euros per head. If we take the, the early maturing breeds into account, uh, the, the Hereford and the Angus, typically they will make similar carcass weights to a Frisian will grade better. They will come into a probably around 325 carcass at an O equals grade. With breed bonuses and quality assurance taken into account, these cattle will come into around 1250, maybe a little bit more than that at slaughter stage. The margin, taking into account the purchase price of the calf and the cost of production on these cattle, will be slightly less than that of the Frisian, typically. 
While higher stocking rates in excess of two livestock units per hectare, combined with good levels of efficiency, will lead to higher levels of profitability on all these green acre farms in excess of probably four to 500 euros per hectare net. What has to be taken into account also is the effect on the environment and the level of carbon emissions that come from carrying higher stocking rates on these farms.